Okay, so let's talk about the major containers that we have in the Power BI service and environment. Majorly, we have three containers where you can put your content. It could be the reports, dashboards, data sets, everything. So these are primarily three containers, my workspace, workspace and apps. And even if I get deeper into that, I would simply say two, two containers, which is my workspace and workspaces. Apps is something which is just an extended version of workspaces. So let us just concentrate on these two right now, my workspace and workspace. And as you can see into this view, we have uh, my workspace, workspace, and then apps. Now, let me just open up the presentation here and you can see the clear differences between these two containers, right? I, I'm calling it as a container or you can call it as a folder also where you are going to put in your content, which you have created as a creator in Power BI, right? So my workspaces, first of all, is your personal folder. Okay, which can be accessed by you and definitely these two are online. It's not offline. So my workspace is a personal folder which is available online and it can be accessed with a free account also and a pro account both. Right. On the other hand, a workspace is something which is which can be accessed only by a pro or a premium user. Second of all, a workspace is a shared folder right and in fact not just one folder you can create as many subfolders as you can and you can directly share the entire folder with your team who is working on the same project or with your client anyone in which they can actually uh, consume the content that you have put in or they can work together with you on building the report onto power bi service so that is a very good place to collaborate and there you can define many, many roles like an admin role is there, a member role, a, a creator role and a viewer role also. So these are the major four roles which you can actually assign to the concerned person. And accordingly, they will be able to consume the content or maybe create or maybe edit the content of this folder which you are sharing with them. So that, that is a major difference. And then also content of my workspace can be shared with individual pro users. Content can be shared, but not the entire workspace you can share. On the other hand, in the workspace, you can share the entire workspace. And also the content in the workspace can be shared or the entire folder can be shared with larger audience into the organization. And then you can also create dashboard reports, workbooks and data sets inside my workspace. The same can be created in the workspace, but along with that, you can also create a data flow. So these are the major differences that you see between my workspace and workspace. And when I talk about apps, apps is just an extended version of workspace. It means you can actually publish it as an app and which can be accessed by an entire organization. So the only purpose of uh, uh, publish, publishing a workspace as an app is that you want to share it with a larger set of audience could be the entire organization. So that is the major uh, use of an app. Otherwise, these are the two major components of Power BI service, the containers, the folders, you can call it. And these are the major differences in them. Now, if I take you to the Power BI service environment, and this is how it looks like. If you see over here, we have the workspaces and we have my workspace. If I go into my workspace, I have a lot many things with me over here into the dashboards and then reports and everything will be there. Let me also click on my workspace and it will take me inside my workspace and you can see over here I am into my workspace where I can see all the content. Again, the view may vary depending on when you are accessing this video, you are learning from this video because Power BI is very dynamic and Microsoft keep on updating the same. So view will be slightly different, but I believe the major things that you are learning into this will remain same. I believe so. Uh, so here we have everything in my workspace. And uh, when you go into any of these components, you can share from there. So we're going to talk about that in the coming videos that how you can share and collaborate from my workspace. On the other hand, if you are a premium or a pro user, you can access workspaces 
and either uh, if you are on a trial or maybe you have a license for the same you can access my uh, the workspaces which could be something which has been shared with you number one or you have created by yourself you can see an option to create a workspace you can also create it and put it in the content that you want to share with the other audience or want to collaborate with your colleagues so these are the two major uh, components that we have the containers we have in power bi service and environment we're going to talk about them again in detail we're going to access the content of these and we're going to see how to share how we can collaborate and in fact how we can create an scheduled refresh so that it will be refreshing it itself thank you so much